All right, uh, uh, hello everyone. This is uh, Mr. Delicious uh, again, and we are now moving on to our uh, Grade Ten Mathematics uh, Pass Exam Paper Year 2010 uh, uh, Tutorial and Revision, and we are now into uh, Question Number Seven. So that our question number seven, but before that, let me first uh, clear the uh, uh, whiteboard so that uh, it will be uh, easy and quick for us to do. Now we are in question number seven. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we have to do it slowly so that uh, you will all <clears throat> understand and be able to follow what we are doing here since this is your revision for uh, revision for your national examination uh, in October. So I hope that uh, you will be patient and uh, bear with me in this revision. Now, uh, we are now into question number seven and this is our question number seven. Okay, can you see it clearly there? Question number seven. This is our question number seven and it says, uh, Susan ran three thousand meters in exactly eight minutes what was her average speed in meters per second so this kind of question is uh, more on the uh, conversion of the unit so you have to check carefully always this is now the technique always be uh, mindful about the question uh, and the question is meter per second you are asked to find the average speed in meters per second given the distance that is in 3000 meters the unit is in meters and however the time for running at 3000 meters is in eight minutes uh, unit so in this this one is just a very easy question so you should be able to answer this one in a very uh, short period of time. Okay, so this is, let us now, the average uh, speed is equal to the total distance, total distance uh, traveled. Okay, this is, remember that when you say average speed, you are actually running from point A to point B. So you are trying to get the total distance traveled from point A to point B. Divided by your total time. Okay. So <clears throat> see the, the average speed now. Therefore, when you substitute the total distance traveled is 3,000 meters. 3,000 meters divided by the total time given take note take note that the time given in the problem is in the unit uh, eight minutes okay so eight minutes and the required for you to uh, provide your answer is uh, in meter per second so the, before we perform the operation, this is just simply uh, dividing or dividing the total distance divided by the total time. You need to convert first, okay, in your uh, rough work, convert the 8 minutes, okay, into seconds. So since our minute is in the numer numerator, then we will have one minute in the denominator so that we can cancel it later. And there is uh, there are 60 seconds, there are 60 seconds in one minute. So we have now 60 seconds. You cancel now the minute and the minute. Now you are left with 8 times 60 seconds. 8 times 60 seconds, that is... Uh, 8 times 0 is 8, 8 times 6 is 48, so therefore we have a total of 480 seconds, the equivalent value of the total time, uh, 8 minutes, which is 480 seconds. 
Now you can now, from that value now in seconds, you can now substitute that one as 480 seconds. So the average speed, the average speed is, this is now the technique, uh, when you divide and then there's, uh, uh, there are zeros uh, in, given in the numerator and denominator. So the first thing you should do is cancel that, uh, that, that one zero here and one zero underneath or the denominator. And then we, have, we are now left with 348. So we have 300 over 48 and this is meter per second okay so we can we can still uh, uh, find a common or the highest common uh, factor that we can use to divide both 300 and 48 to have a simplified answer okay so the the uh, average speed now therefore it's not safe but the symbol for speed is s so the average speed now is 300 divided by 48, okay? So if you are going to simplify this further to make it uh, smaller, so we can have 300, we divide it by, and then 48 as well. So we can use uh, uh, 6 over here. 300 divided by 6. And then 48 divided by 6 as well. So the outcome now is 300 divided by 6 is, that is um, uh, 300 divided by 6, that would be 50, okay? That would be 50 meter. And 48 divided by 6 is now 8. And this is second, okay? So therefore, you are now, the number now is getting smaller. So you have now 50 meter per, uh, 50 divided by 8. So from here, you can divide 50 divided by 8 and 50 divided by 8 and that is uh, 6. Okay, 6 times 8 is 48. Okay, that is 48. And then operation here is subtraction. So this will become 10. And this one becomes 4. So 10 minus 8 is 2. Decimal point here, decimal point here. Add 0, bring down that 0. So we are now 20. 20 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. And then subtraction operation here. This one becomes 1, and this is 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. And then add another 0, bring down that 0. So this is now 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. And our remainder is uh, 0x. So therefore, we are now left with 6.25 meter per second as our uh, average speed. So let us try to check the options here. If we are getting it right, is there any value here that, uh, that is 6.25? Yes, correct. So therefore, the answer is letter B, 6.25, the uh, uh, average speed in meter per second. Okay. So this is uh, question number seven, uh, paper 2010, grade 10 mathematics. So uh, watch and subscribe and share this video. You can also uh, share this video to your classmates who are preparing for the national examination in uh, October. Okay, so this is Mr. Delicious. Thank you for watching. Bye.